Okay, this is a SK1 from two trees. Now I'm trying to fresh your firmware. So over here, there are eight screw. We need to screw it out and I can remove the chip for me to inst refresh the firmware, okay? Give me a while while I screw it out. Okay, I firstly leave one screw out so that I just turn it down. So, over here, do you see this chip? We need to unscrew these two screw. Then we can remove this chip for freshening the firmware. And one thing about two trees, it have give us a lot of tools inside the box. Every tool have its own purpose. So you can see this one. This one the, with the yellow tips on is on the purpose to remove this screw. Okay, so I have removed now. So it's quite simple, just turn it. Be careful the screw will drop, okay? So I shall pause a while while I unscrew it. Okay, so once you have unscrewed, it will look something like this. Do you see the pin over here? You may ask, hey, how am I going to um, fresh it? Actually, two, three have provided for us this adapter. Okay, so please don't throw away the box inside the things, okay? There are so much tools that you can use for all the purpose that you need to fresh your firmware, to rewrite your own firmware, and all the tools for you to disassemble and assemble the items. Once you are done in this, okay, then we shall put this like this, click it on. And this is the size of a micro SD card. So you can use a micro SD adapter to put it in. Okay, so my micro adapter, I'm using this type, which have all the pinhole. So it's up to you to use which one. Okay, so we can plug it in to our computer. Okay, so 2 3 will send you this file, but later I will amend it. It's called 7z file, so we can extract here. Once you extract ready, you should have this .img file. This is the motherboard file, okay? Remember, img is for motherboard. LCD is TFT. So please kindly remember, don't forget about it. So once you extract, you will have this file. And then, remember just now, I have mentioned this one that we have installed. So we just put it in, simple like this. It will ask you to format, blah, 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 and then just ignore it, okay? Then, with fresh form file, I save it in a download file, so quite simple. Select target, which is this, my D drive, yours may be other drive, you have to check first. Then select, then fresh it. So, once you fresh finish, it will prompt you the message. It will take a while. So once it's complete, you'll look something like this and you can uh, eject the card and remove it away, okay? So once you remove ready, same thing, remove the adapter. Be careful, okay? Don't spoil the pin because it's very fragile. So once you pull out, same thing, use this, put it back to the slot like this. You can see the hole. You don't turn around there, okay? Because maybe we burn the bot. So just to make sure, slot it in, then put back the two screw. Remember, put back the two screw because it's a prevent it from loose, okay? 
Okay, so once you are done, turn on the power and let's wait. Okay, there will be questions which ask about how we check about these machines, the firmware, is it the latest and etc. So we can go here to this gear, touch it. Oh, sorry, I'm in Chinese mode right now. Let me select the English. Give me a while, let it load to the English versions. Okay, now we are in the English versions. So back to where we are. You saw the gear over here, click on it. If you want to change to the language, you can go here, to this, and you can select. So they are Chinese, English, Dutch. Uh, Spanish, French, Italian. So we can go down. Do you see versions? And we can go to this about SK1 to click on it. So this side will show what is the versions of these machines and how much times it has been print because all of the SK1, 2, 3 will do the testing. So they will also print it for some times to make sure the printer workable before it was sent out so they have this so called um, have undergo a 47 uh, complete inspections before delivered to you so they have done a lot of QC check and they have done a lot of amendments that which you can, you know, give you a try. So we can go to network and we can um, go and register a network. There are also calibrations and etc. This is the light in the main screen to turn on. So they have this light over here, a bar of light, a strip light. So you can, you know, see the whole place and the temperature for the nozzle and for the heat of it. And the fans so this one is a uh, the first one is for the blower fans to blow the printer parts the other two is the inside one which is a motherboard so the heatsink fan is uh, auto on so whenever you turn on the machine you auto on so you can't control it to be honest so we can load unload uh, the filaments, the temperature move out, and etc. Then we can select whether local or USB and find the file to print. So all this is one by one. They also have online and they are also contact for you to online support. But please take notes. China holiday, they will don't have any online support. <laughs> so please make sure check it out before. Uh, I mean, you get mad on yourself right now. So FAQ, you can check it out over here. They have all this already. Thank you.